Uh, now we can go finish them off with this army, like I was saying. I worry, though, like, they're just gonna run away, aren't they? And then they might just resiege the town. But we should have gained Garrison. Well, they don't gain anything. Oh, no, it's okay. They're, they know what's coming. It's fine. We'll do a protective slow march up towards them. The liberators of Ars. Okay, so now um, we have to see when we can go to war with Mazeslia. Should tell us about eight turns or something like that, I think. It doesn't say. I don't know. It normally says, you know, four turns or something. So we'll just have to hold off for a bit, but we'll, we'll make preparations and move over there. They have two armies outside of Carthage. Just gotta worry about that or watch out for that. But generally, if we could, like, just hit Demidi, hit Serta, and then hit those armies, that'd be great. Ready for battle. So we can't get home, so we might as well just duck in here for a turn, and that will give us... Oh, we're making six grand. Garrison. We're making 6,200, not that much more. Libyan mercenary infantry. We have an admiral. Okay, cool. So they didn't fall for my ambush, clearly. Uh, they have put an army in Delminium. How far can we go on the transports? Not as far as I'd like. But we might be able to just auto-resolve this and capture it. Yeah, because my transports are... Oh, my transports aren't... Yeah, they are here, yeah. Just clicked it twice for good measure. Um, it is an honor for me, there. Migdal has good resources. Yeah, it's got wine or something. What is it? Dies? Die. Yes, die. Uh, we can't upgrade it for two more turns if we want to get that level three. Is there a resource building as well? Let's first of all just delete this. That's fine. And get rid of that as well. We'll see what's here next turn, really. And we'll go a bit of a breadbasket at the back of our empire here. To allow us to then further upgrade our towns. All our towns are level 2 right now, so. Uh, okay, so we've liberated these guys. Let's see if we can trade with them or something. Let's see if we can get them as a client now that they're in trouble. No. They're at war with the Boai and Rome. Damn, see, Rome are just going to retake this stuff, which is a little annoying. Great if we could just get them back as allies somehow. They don't want to do it, though. Well, we'll try to keep these guys as military allies anyway. My friend, it was just I wasn't ready to fight Boa yet. We will be ready once we're done in Africa. God bless you. Yes. Alright, so we're trading with the RDA, and we now have um, a place that we can just get out. We're going to bring this army, I guess, down to here? Actually, we could hop out and help defend their town in case the Roman army comes up. Wow, we actually took pretty huge losses, thinking about it. Even the ships, my lord. I live. So if they get attacked, we will be reinforcing, right? Pretty sure. They're using local swordsmen. Alpine swordsmen. We fight for you, my lord. My lord. Make haste, man. So Delminium is where we want to go next. Liberate that, and then we are head over to actually take more towns in Macedon. Oh yeah, I forgot about this town, actually. Apollonia. Can't do that yet. Can we get here local troops? Don't know. Oh, we can get Epirus war dogs. The Salian light hoplites and the Salian levy hoplites. Okay. You'll fight the boy. As I've said, I've said this like so many times that people keep asking me. 
like I said, when we're done in Africa, taking out our clients, I'll then go north and fight the Boai. So that's the plan. That's why I didn't join their war. So when it came up, we liberated Ayadir, yeah? And when it came up at the beginning of the stream, or at least uh, after um, one hour in, it said like, oh, are you going to, the Boai are attacking Ayadir, are you going to go help them? And I was like, no, I'm not. And I said, uh, you know, I'll go north to the Boai once we're done in Africa. So we just have to finish off Maze easily. Well, we can't wage war on them yet. So we finished off the guys to the west. We're going to uh, reroute this army east, get them down here. Once they're down there, then we're going to launch an attack on Maze Easley, and then we're free to move everything up and secure the Po Valley, I guess you could call it. Apollonia has wine and a unique port, right? Does it have a unique port? I don't know if it's got a unique port. It does have wine, though. In Apollonia, you can recruit pikemen. Uh, I don't think so. We have hoplites, Thoreo spears, hoplites, what about all the way at the end? No. Melossian hounds. I'm guessing over in Pella, or maybe Larissa, we can start getting hoplites. Or, I'm um, sorry, pikemen. How may I serve you? Swift and silent. Only in Pella you get pikes. Okay. So how's everything going? I think everything's pretty good then. Are we good to end it? The fists of Hamilcar have leveled it. Extra morale during offensive battles? Get, that. Get the governors. He's actually a general, sorry, wrong, wrong one, this one. Please report take my lord. 5,000, Jesus. How can I serve? So there's that, and then we need to make an army here. For next turn. These are all within the family though, so let's get this guy. Your command. Get to it, man. Ready for all. Uh, I'll just leave it at that for now. So this guy's gonna go up and transfer his army to that one, and then the we can put a governor army down somewhere in here. What about this guy? He's a governor as well. Yeah, okay, so that's what we'll do next turn. Can't do it now anyway, just can't deploy them. Do an edict next turn. They're taking Apollonia with like eight ships. That's so fucking annoying, dude. I just committed to a bunch of buildings there now as well. It's the Jackie folder on Dropbox. Yeah, we originally had a folder that we were gonna put stuff into. I think we used it once. Rome is not done with you yet. Yeah, six ships take up Apollonia when I've got like 20,000 or um, two full stacks right next to it. It's so annoying. I moved one inch away from it and then that time I have a fleet on top of it as well. It's just, it's just that slight little bit out of range. Yeah, so right, frustrating scrub. when they do that. I did also just commit to a bunch of buildings there, so it's a huge waste of money. Outplayed and outsmarted. Pretty much. I mean, I did see the fleet and everything. I just remember seeing it. I just didn't think. Just didn't think that they could take that town. Oh, nice. Yeah, keep on creating these uh, these these client states because they just pay me so much money for trade. So yeah, know. valuable trade empire. That's what you want. You're welcome. I mean, we're 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 great friendly trading nations. You know. I mean, I'm I'm not happy that you're 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 moving into Greece and stuff, and that might cause some tension. But you know, we're we're nothing but friends. This entire campaign. We'll all profit from Carthaginian presence in Greece. <laughs> that's, a very, that's a very fine line you're treading right there. We cannot do that. I live to serve the mighty Carthage at your command. None will escape. Good order, my lord. Look at 
Damn Romans. Uh, that is the comment that calls for war. He's been saying that forever, though. That's frustrating. How can I serve Carthage? Let them cower before our might. Your service. Ready for battle. Setting forth. Okay, so this army is just gonna have to heal up here for a bit. As will this one. We're after getting a little bit of experience now on that fleet, which is nice. And our naval commander. So what do we want as a naval commander? This one, right? Assault ships, yeah, so... Alright, well, I guess we're going down this way. Veteran Marine. All units, fleet only. Great. Token of Melkart. All right, good. Well, building that up anyway, which is nice. So we're going to push for Larissa first, and then back up to Pella. But for now, we'll keep that fleet here, guarding this area. Should be fine. Once the garrison builds here, then they're not going to be able to do that kind of thing anyway. We have all their ships. Great. Silver hulls. Love to see it. So one turn away from getting our, techno uh, our technology, which lets us give level 3 buildings everywhere. to get food actually did i build that oh yeah so 10 turns away and we get 34 percent 36 percent research rate improvement so if you go for missile buffs it affects both armies and fleets that's good yeah so the reason i went with the melee one first just there was because we actually have missile buffs on the um fleet traditions so hopefully it's a bit balanced i mean maybe it's better to stack everything on the one i don't know so this will tell me if we have, we do, snail pits is the die resource industry thing, so that's good. Love a bit of snail pits. Let's go more food, just make food. This place is so safe, hopefully at the back of the empire, that food should be a, a good thing to invest in. Spare my arse. Now, Masti Hispania, I think, actually earns a decent amount. Maybe I should not go with food. Yeah, I might go with the uh, trader, actually, instead. I'm saving my money on purpose for the town upgrades that we're going to be doing, and that's why we need that food. It would be a good idea to mass upgrade all libraries. Yeah, I was thinking of that. I've been looking at them, taunting me with their little arrow. Oh, they take 16 turns as well. I'd rather do the towns first and then do those. So I'm going to wait. Ready for orders. All right, so, uh, fair enough. Army destroyed, settlement lost. We took it back. Motivated populace. Households found. Oh, yeah, Africa. That's what we need to do. So... How can I serve ready for battle? Melkaton. We fight for you. It's given the army Lord. that we have here. March. Now this was originally just levied to fight that one town really quickly, so it's not exactly the best units. Haste, and then our uh, faction leader Halko sits right in there, gives us a decent amount. Now we just have an army here, so. You can head back south and start recruiting up into making it a little bit better. This place seems pretty happy, so we're going to do the same out this way. Get replenishment in this town instead. Let's check the population here. 49,000 is pretty good. Really low on Phoenicians, Libby Phoenicians, but really high on subjects and stuff, so should be able to replenish a little bit better. And we have 20,000 for the next turn. 
So let's check the diplomatic situation with Jackie. He's currently at war with, still at war with uh, Armenia and Atropat Khan. And then you can see his various client states, Cyrene, Igarmen, and Sparta, as well as, no, he's not, a, these aren't a tribute, they're a military ally. Okay, that's an interesting one. The boy, the boy are so thick. I hate the idea of going to a war with them because in this game I find it really hard to like. You take a few towns and then they'll never give you peace. So that's what I worry about. It'd be great if we just took these three and then they backed off, but I just don't think they'd ever do that. Maybe they would, but I don't think they would. Uh, so the other thing was the governor, right? So we have a governor here. Latim has a governor. Mauritania has an admiral governor, but not really. Hispania has one. Sicily doesn't, so let's throw one down in Sicily. So we want to get the guy... I believe it's this guy. I have to double check. Just so I don't make a mistake. God, what's wrong with that one's face? Anyway, um... I don't know how I'm supposed to recognize who's who. Looking for someone with orange traits, basically. And then we gotta marry those other dudes as well. At your command. I think it's this guy. Yeah, I'll marry them now in a sec. Um, I think it's this guy. Yeah. Great. This guy also isn't married, actually. Alright, so let's get some marriages going then. Uh, she can't yet. She doesn't have enough gravitas. She's only got eight. She needs a little bit more. So let's uh, organize games some more. All my towns are super happy. Throw up those taxes, maybe. Okay, she's got 16 now, so next turn maybe she'll have enough. This person can be ranked up, or we could just tell them to do something. We could embezzle funds, maybe? Political situation is standard that doesn't rank her up so what we might have to do is just send her out somewhere as well and now she's ranked up which lowers our empire maintenance do another embezzlement and then just use that money to do the same thing Oh, he wasn't my party, was he? Oh, that's fine, though. At least he's a good governor. Explains why I couldn't recognize him. Dude, this place is just it's totally leveled up. So what about send an emissary for food? She can get married. Carthaginian realm is content and prosperous. It really is. We're like a hundred everywhere, pretty much. And this is perfect, right? It hasn't really budged much in a long time, although it's lower than it's almost ever been, 52. I think we've been managing it well. Uh, is there much else to do at this point? I don't think so. I mean, there's still loads to do, probably, for all these characters, but for now, it's fine. Making 10 grand now, though. Oh, we still haven't done the edict thing. Oh, let's just temporarily... This was a pretty wealthy region, so let's just temporarily give it some uh, tax benefits. Another one. And another one. Agent slots? Yeah, we're going to need some of those as well. That's a good point. 
So we got our technology, which means, okay, well, first of all, let's see what's going on here. Nothing really at Larissa. They took back Eider. So that's a problem, because now they can just go back over here. So I, I might have to just occupy this, because they might never... But the real issue was that the, bo the Boai was the one that contested it. So yeah. We might need to hop back over to Italy with this army. How can I serve Carthage? I hope to Christ we don't lose a Polonia again to some rogue navy. We take this settlement for you, my lord. At your command. Hmm. Can't get all the way up there. I might wait a turn. They're recruiting in this army up to 10 units. Yeah, maybe I'll just back off then. You can fight that? I could. I'll just wait though. It's safer to wait. I'd rather be safe than sorry. Don't want them coming down with a mercenary stack or something kicking my ass. If I fight that battle now, we might have pretty high losses because those are the Roman spear units. He's got gold experience slingers. Not risking it. Not risking it. Don't want to even reach out right now. Not risking it. I don't want these units. Get it in my face. Okay. Upgrade the cities. Yes, we gotta upgrade the cities and then build into the cavalry. This is a new cavalry unit that I have access to. Libyan cavalry. I don't remember seeing them before. Am I insane thinking that? I don't remember seeing them before. Just out of curiosity, who's better between these two? The Namidians, okay. We do need cavalry, actually. So anyway, um, right. So Carthage, which Carthage should we go for? I should have ch checked this beforehand. A commercial one, obviously. Okay. Sounds obvious to me anyway. Oh yeah, and I did work this out before that the food, it's only like negative three food or something. It's not that bad. So that's going to be 10 turns and a revolution in Africa is pretty much going to take place. And then Latium. Commercial if you go full eco. Yeah. Dog shit gav. The kind of they were from the start. Look at the elephants. Wow. We have some of those. Don't we? African war elephants. Is that the same as what we saw here? Oh no. Carthaginian Atlas elephants. Towering above most of their kin, the Atlas elephants charge into battle equipped with unit towers. Or sorry, equipped with towers and heavy armor. Highly trained and obedient, these beasts form the elite of the elephant core. So is that because we must have just gotten our level 3 done? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Need to get some of those thick boys. Fortified Carthage would help at the end if it comes to that. That's true. We might have to change it at some point depending on how things go. So I've, I've tried to upgrade the most profitable provinces first. So Africa, uh, let's go like this, and then Latium. So Rome is also commerce central, so we'll go commercial Rome. And that's going to be basically all our money spent on upgrades for now. Now, what else do we need? If we get this, we get a reduction in constructions in all buildings. Those two are done. What do we get from that? Maintenance reductions. It's nice. This gives us more food. We don't really need that. I had been thinking about getting different military tech. Level 3 weaponsmith and engineers workshops. Melee attack for spear units. Four percent upkeep costs for all fleets and recruitment slots in all ports. And enables building of the Kothan. 
Roman cars which aren't super safe for the wars to come. Well, what's the main difference between this and the fortified? Just garrison, is it? Garrison is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 units garrison. This is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 units, but obviously they're better as well. Oh yeah, I mean, we can just see it like that. We might invest in turning these into more... Oh, I thought we had like a garrison thing. Guess not. I'm not advocating either. Go to the middle one. I think you're right with Rome. With Carthage, I'll leave it as is. Because when it comes to that, I just don't think that matters. But yeah, regular for Rome, I think is fine. And the next turn, we'll go for Larissa. These armies might come out that next turn. We'll have to see. All men must serve. And then we need to get this one back up in ship shape for to get up to Arminum in case it gets attacked. Oh my god, how much is this guy ranked up? I gave him cavalry bonuses. I'm assuming he has some cavalry. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have max armies now? No, not yet. We can still put down um, two more governors, like uh, generals like this in towns that kind of govern the area and are spec to do so. I use the rest of my money to do that. Actually, we need to also build this. I want to get another spy. So we're going to make one uh, over here. Send them up north. Where is our two spies? Do we only have one or two? We have one right here already. She's right here. <laughs> How can I serve Carthage? And then we need another one. Maybe down in Africa and we'll have a look at what's going on down this way. That might be good. That's all our money. Yeah. I want to commit to the buildings first, so next turn we'll start doing that. So I haven't built those. Alright. Man, you spend a lot of money when you're this big. Sid didn't get the cavalry either, so. I wonder could I do some embezzlement? Let's see if I've just got a quick moment. Do we have show deceased? Yeah, let's turn off show deceased. And are these guys saying how long it will take to attack them yet? Welcome, friend. Welcome. Come. It still doesn't say. Really frustrating that it doesn't say that. And let us fight. It's not telling me how long. I think it's, I think it's only been two turns. Maybe three so far, so fair enough, but like still. Ready for all. Master, damn you all. So next turn, Larissa. And then we need to have the fleet back on Apollonia just to make sure it's safe. And see if we can go retake Iodor. Really want to be able to wrap up what's going on down here so we can pull these armies out to the front line over in Italy as well. Because that's what the plan is. The plan is basically these two armies are going to go north to Boai territory. And we want to start making a new fleet. Uh, when you take Larissa, make sure you loot it instead of occupying. Use the money for upgrades. Is that wise? Why would I want to loot it? We need to bring over our governor, uh, dignitary, or just make a new one out here. To 
spread our culture. We've got a really good culture one here, though, so he could just come over. He's, he's mostly culture conversions, and this place is now dominant Canaanite. I think they'll always have some Latin culture resisting, though. It's only changing by 0.7 per turn, even with him there. Oh, uh, they have uh, these guys around here. That's probably why. You can make both a governor and a new dignitary in Rome for income. At your command. I don't want to make another one and put them in Rome, uh, but another dignitary, yeah, and then maybe move this guy. I'm just going to move this guy over. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, Governor General in Apollonia for the public order. That would be a good idea. Even spec him for conversion as well, maybe a little bit. All right, so there's that. So basically the plan is at the moment is to wait until we can attack Maze Easily with two armies. And then they've got two full stacks here. So that's a little concerning. So we need to have at least one of our armies defending Carthage. And then the other ones go for Dimidi and then Serta. Yeah, so ideally, like, this guy here comes down, takes that. Then we go take that with this army as well. And then this one is left in Carthage to defend when we wage the war. What do they have in their armies? Um, mercenary Iberians, Numidians, nothing crazy good, not terrible either, but just, so yeah, so this army here goes down to Dimidi, this army here goes to about here, once Dimidi is taken, they link up, two armies then push for Serta, and all the while we just sit and defend with a full stack at Carta Dashed. I think that's the only way I think can think of doing it. Either that, or actually we just two stack bomb Serta. Then we'll try to make sure like these armies get wiped out and then push back to Dimidi. Not sure if I like that one though. They're almost the same un units as the Catulians. Well, they're using some of the mercenary units, but these ones will be different. I mean, those are Numidian spearmen and swordsmen, but the Catulians used Mori. It said Morian units. Not Morian, as in Moria, but Mori units. Balhamman. I'd just be worried that two stacks under Jackie could actually take Carthage. Even, but I'm sure with one of our own in there, it'd be fine. I live to serve Might not bother getting any cavalry in this army. Just get some more hoplites and then stick them in. Stick them in Carthage. What are we lacking? We don't have any missiles in this army. How can I serve and then we have six missiles in this one. Hmm, interesting. Because they really do need to travel together. Yeah, so they've got two armies, I've got three. So I should be able to take their towns and make sure we have a 2v2 battle if they try it. I uh, got a bit of a battle. I don't think it's going to be super fun, but it's one we have to fight. Oh my god, these guys do look great. Uh, yeah, cool. He's got five cavalry, I've only got three. Um, I just realized something about his units. He doesn't. He's been upgrading their shields, not their swords. Uh, we need to do that. I forgot about that. We have iron now in Sicily. I don't think I've upgraded it for shields yet. So I'm attacking this town. It's said it's like super heavily in my favor, but there's absolutely no way it is. Not with those. Although, he's a little depleted. So we'll see. We'll see what we got. Make the best go of it we can. It's uphill pretty much everywhere we go. Uh, 
I'm just gonna try and put pressure on every side and see what we can do. He's got a bit of... He kind of has uh, cavalry superiority as well, so I'm just worried that he'll get behind me and start rearcharging me a bit. So I don't know what we can do about that. He's got cavalry superiority and missile superiority, and he's got phalanxes for his choke points. Every choke point can be phalanxed. But if we spread out enough, maybe he'll be forced to... One of them will get thin, you know? What do we have? Oh, we've got pikemen. Yes, that's what I'll do, actually. Okay. Protect every every group of units with at least one spear. Might help. Use those three shitty spears as cover. You have a phalanx from re sorry. Use those three shitty, shitty spears as cover from re rear charges. Yes, that's the idea. So these spears at your command. these spears will protect the sword infantry where we're attacking. It with. Yours to command. Orders the understood. Bring these guys in actually as well this way. At the ready, commander. By your command. What are your orders? We are at My your command. There's no um, foliage to hide in, I guess. Don't really want to split the calf. I guess we need to keep it together and hope for the best. We've got strong calf at least. All right, I'm ready to go. All right, cool. Me too. Those guys with the white armor are pikemen as well. Oh shit. Oh, so we have two pike units here. Okay. I'm gonna protect with this. Orders, my lord! We await your command! Yeah, so he brought his cavalry out as to be which is to be expected. Oh uh, he's got missile cav though, it's even worse. There's really, there's like nothing I can do against Missile Cavalry unless he makes a mistake and gets some traps somehow. That's why he's bringing them out straight away. Because like last time we fought in the same place as Armenia and we, I was trying to give chase to his missiles, but they just, they just destroy my own cavalry as we chase him. Uh, we want to turn off fire at will on those guys. Right. Our spears are yours. At the top, ready. Forever loyal. We are at your command. As you wish. Um, but silly, I brought these a bit too far forward. Double time. We are at your command. Our spears are yours! Orders, my lord! Noble spears! We are waiting for orders! orders. Melee infantry! At the ready! Order! Commander! Double time! Royal cavalry! Pikemen! Let's go barricades up here. Could risk uh, just pushing straight into the town, actually. Gotta assault every side and hope for the best. <laughs> we are to order. Fire on the enemy. I actually have to use these guys on that on those units. We're not gonna break through unless I do. Advance at speed. Quick march. Pikemen. Advance at speed. What are your orders? Ready. Royal cataphracts. Spears ready. Awaiting orders. 
Dude, it's insane. I can't even get through this, like, fucking garrison pikes. There's only, like, few of them there. What's going on here? Can we pause it for a second? Is there some sort of invisible... Is there a barricade or something I can't see in front of me here? On the, uh... Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, you... They're running into a barricade, are they? Yeah. Oh, there's none on my screen. That's really weird. Oh, well, there is one there. Yeah. You're basically through now. No, 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 not the one at the front of the town. The one on the other side of the town. Do you see the units all bunched up? One of the sides of the town. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, it's nothing to do with me. Oh, okay, no I just wasn't here. sure. I've tried running through it a few times now, and they can't. Maybe just go the long way around. What are your orders? What are your orders? Just run two things, I guess. Orders, my lord, my lord, your orders. Noble field orders. My lord, double time and speed. That's a weird one. I haven't seen that before. Just a invisible wall. We are at your command. I just have to run around now, I guess. <laughs> okay. Five men awaiting orders. Eichmann. Eichmann. Ready. to try to keep the pressure up at least Orders, so we can come around the side maybe but they're just going to break off a few minutes As you ready for order. gave them this order a while ago they just can't really do it probably because the remaining Double barricade time. i guess can we attack it It's so fucked up, it's unbelievable. God, I hate these battles. <laughs> hey guys, hope you're healthy and happy. Thanks, Tommy. Same to you. The Pikes managed to stay slightly cohesive. Pikes in a town without missile superiority. I wish the AI would just make missiles. It would help a lot. Spears at your command. We await your orders. We are at your command. 
Oh, um, let's see. How goes the war? On our side, it's going pretty well. We're just fighting a battle against Jackie. Uh, the auto resolve was like way out of whack for this one. Basically, said like there was no chance he could even lose almost. It just doesn't seem to take into account, like, I don't know what the advantage of this army was at all. <laughs> we don't have missile advantage, we don't have cavalry advantage, we don't have infantry advantage. Uh, so, I'm not, we had numbers. Heavy horse Raw numbers, maybe. Actually, I don't even think we had that. Well, I think we did, though, maybe. So we're just playing it out and letting these guys die, essentially. I tried I tried to approach every aspect of the town. I could. I was going to run up this way as well, but he had enough to just pull back, so I wasn't really concerned with doing that. That was the original plan, though. But it wouldn't really have made a difference. So I'm just letting these guys die. There's just no way of winning this against a player. We await your orders. And ready. All their battles today have been kind of pretty average little garrison ones. Engage and wait for it to end. How are the pikemen doing? I know you probably said that a while ago. Probably not very good. Uh, 117 kills, not bad. Not bad. You need to push with them a lot if you're going to be aggressive with them. I think it was a mistake letting the other pikemen unit fall. If we could have pushed the two, then that might have been a bit better. But he just had more cavalry than I do, so... When I sent this unit to go around this way, I kind of exposed their back. Long-term question, how are you planning to fight Jackie's armies with your Carthaginians? Uh, elephants, although he's got elephants, I don't know. Like, he basically said something like he's not going to recruit more than six pikes or something like that to stop cheese. I didn't even think he has to do that, in fairness. But basically, my strengths will lie in, um... Missiles, I think. We've got Balearic Slingers that can outrange him, I think. And uh, we're going to need copious amounts of Peltasts. But other than that, I don't know. Is there a preferred unit comp? Yeah, I haven't really thought about it. Like, I don't know. Like, he's just got a standard Greek army that basically also has now access to some of the best cavalry in the game, like the Cataphracts out where he is. And he's got missile, like, horse archers and stuff. I'm not sure what I really have to kind of cope with that. I've got strong infantry now in Italy. Uh, they're pretty good. Strong sword infantry. But to beat his... I mean, if you want to beat pikes, you just need missiles. You need missiles. Or you need to just bog, be able to bog them down with your own pikes and then use cavalry to get around. Yeah, I was thinking Numidian Cav, but I feel like Horse Archer Cav will always beat Numidian Cav. So, I don't know if I'd really like short-range Cav when he can just pepper them from afar. Syrian arch is going to be real tough. Exactly. I don't know. We can maybe get Cretans. I think We should be able to get Cretan arches in Syracuse, so We could try and see how good they are Jackie only uses javelin cab as well. Yeah, we haven't seen him use any horse archer cab actually But he does have access to some really especially when he takes Armenian towns some really good horse archer cab but if he didn't use them, then that'd be good. Then our Numidian Cav would stand a bit more of a chance. Balearic Slingers are, and Crossbows, Thorax Swords, Numidian Jeff Cav, Heavy Shock Cav, forget the Apulians. Crossbows is an interesting one. Haven't tr thought about that. I mean, we talked about it last time. He has Rhodian Slingers. Oh yeah, that's true. Balearic Slingers and Rhodians are pretty much the same. Hmm. It's not really the missile thing isn't really a concern. Uh, the 
the pike thing isn't even much of a concern. It's more just like, I think his cavalry is going to be way better. So I'm not too sure what I can do there. Like, what's the best cavalry we can get? He can get like cataphracts, like really heavy cav. He can get silver shield swords and silver shield pikes, which he has already. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you can get Cretans and Pikemen. We can get Pikemen, but they're not nearly as good as his. But they might hold for a while. That's why I think it all comes down to the cavalry. It's like, you can hold Pikes in place, either hit them with missiles, or then you can use... Um, I'll tell you what, Navy is also quite important. Agreeing like Champions beat the Silver, si silver Shield Swords. Again, what about the cavalry? No one's answering that question. It's I don't care about the infantry. Infantry we can always deal with. It's I think infantry is always... No one has like extremely good infantry to the point where it's like I have nothing to cope with it. It's more a question of cavalry. Best cav to counter is missile cav or elephants. Elephants is a good counter to that, but he's got elephants too. He might lose a bit in Cav, but not by miles. Well, so far, I can't think of how I can deal with Cav at all, other than overwhelming numbers. Don't you get some heavy Iberian Cav? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I mean, we can check, but I don't th think so. But you'd think Iberia would have access to something good. You can get a core troop of Macedon mercenary pikemen from Pella and use Thorax swords to annihilate his flanks. Jav Cav to counter his elephants. Heavy shock cav for cycle charging. And slingers to crush his ranged units. Well, you got to think of it this way. What would you say to him? I imagine you could say almost the exact same back to him. I'll rephrase it in a Jackie perspective. You could get a core troop of silver shield pikemen to beat any pikes that he feels from Pella. You could use... Uh, silver shield swords to beat his thorax swords on the flanks archer cav to annihilate his jav cav and heavy elephants for the shock cav and cycle charging uh, and slingers rhodian slingers to crush his ranged units you know i just feel like you can say the exact same thing to him he's a really good player he's better than me in fairness but i'm just trying to think even just on a unit matchup the way i see it it seems like cavalry is like the really big factor if he starts coming out with heavy shock cavalry that's armored like cataphract or he uses his horse archer cavalry. I don't know what we do. Uh, Thessalian cav from Macedonia. Okay, I'll have a look. Overall, just got back. Did we win that siege? No, we didn't win that siege. There was no chance. There was, like, not even a prayer. I mean, I think he could have had just the garrison and we wouldn't have beaten it, let alone having an army in there. But it doesn't really matter. Where was that, anyway? I have no idea where that was. It wasn't coastal, so yeah, I don't know, somewhere in the center here. So th the Thessalian cav is worse than your own shot cav. 